What's happening, people? This is Kelham64 here, and welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Last time, we climbed up further through Mount Crenel. I went on about all kinds of stuff where I repeat myself, and also, we pretty much got halfway through it, and we are near the end. So this episode, we will be finishing climbing up Mount Crenel and starting the next temple. So, oh great, I haven't burped in ages. On with the show. Okay, this part you want to follow what I do, because there is, again, like the other one, there's only one way you can do it. Which is a bit annoying, but still. The idea of this game is to have fun and use your common knowledge. So don't let it get you down. I would advise this though, when you do this, make sure you got enough space, that's how I figured this one out. Took a bit of a while though, but I eventually got it in the end. But for some reason when I pushed up he suddenly slid off the rock. Oh well, at least it got me further. Ah, uh, this bit is very annoying actually, because you just feel stupid due to how simple it is. You want to push this out the way, yeah? Well. You know you're so used to pushing stuff and then pushing the other one that's up in front, yeah? Come on, come down. Well, really, all you got to do is this. You may think you want to push this and then push that up. But, look, you can just push it this way. It's to trick you from letting you know how you used you are to... That didn't make any sense. How... I don't know a way to put it. I'm just going to say how used you are to <laughs> actually just pushing stuff that way and then pushing the other one the other way in order to make a path but that way you just push both of them in the same direction it's quite a clever way because it makes it challenging for the player because well they're used to the other one like I keep saying but anyway let's go in here and we are in Malari's Mines or Malari I don't know how you pronounce it okay let's go talk to this guy over here ding along turn along dig along for iron Okay, that's a song for some reason. Okay, now let's talk to this guy. Ting along, tong along. Dig down, dig around, dig the ground, fur iron. Uh, that doesn't even rhyme. How's that even a song? Okay, anyway, let's do some exploring. Even though there's not much to see, it's just their home. <laughs> okay, that was a really brief way of showing around the place. Oh, nothing in here. Great. Now I'm just doing my thing where I go, oh no, I'm not supposed to be in here. Let's now go back out. Speaking of which, that reminds me of Mystery Gamer. Not that that's a bad thing, of course. I mean, well, that's what he usually says all the time. Anyway, let's talk to the boss. And no, I don't mean boss like something you fight, just the boss like a chief. Actual thing in reality. Green clothes and an odd hat. Sir, might you be young cow? I am Malari, Master Smith. I hear you want me to reforge the sacred sword and help break a curse. I will be needing the old sword, which holds the power of the elements first. Show me that broken Bracori blade. I love all this adventure with what the rescuing of princess and such. I'd be happy to reforge this thing into a brand new sacred blade for you. So we're going to hand him the sword. And... It'll take me a while to rework your sword. In the meantime, you should track down the missing elements. One of them should be in the mine the humans dug. It's not far from here. And I really like how they um, actually fix the sword. I mean, look, they just whack it with this. And look, it, it's glowing. And they, this is the same animation that they do the whole time while we're looking for that element. I mean, surely you would have thought they would, like forge it or something, like put it in lava or something, whatever it's called, forging it, like I said before. Okay, let's just say make the sword, because I can't think of the right words today. Anyway, let's now go out here, and you do not want to jump down there, because you will have to climb up all over again just to get here, and that's very annoying, trust me. And I'm not going to read what he says there, because it's basically the same thing that he says on other stones. Anyway, this is it. 
We are now at the second temple in the game, which is... The Cave of Flames. Wow! It's hot in here. Come on, let's not stand around wasting time. Find the elements so we can get out of here. Okay, so now let's just explore it. Cave of Flames is basically, well, a, a cave full of flames. Meaning, basically, it's a fire temple where there's a lot of fire. In other words, it's an obvious title. And what you want to do here is be really careful at this bit, but I usually just like whacking them and then not doing that. Okay, actually, no, you're not. I'm going to try it. Um, you want to suck this guy up, and that way you get a better way of aiming. And now let's just throw his pot, let him detonate, go all over the shop, and blow up, because nobody cares about him or her. I don't even know what gender these things are. Great. Anyway, with that, let's go in this next room, and here's something funny I'd like to show. I probably might not be able to do it in the LP, though. Uh, let's see. See these? I want to do this. <laughs> you know what I just did? It says this. Your sword won't make a dent in their thorny armour. Flip them over before you strike. Yeah, isn't that what I just did? <laughs> I like how some of the stuff I figure out is the stuff that I've already done before Ezlo informs me what to do. But still, wow, within a couple of minutes in this area we have already found the compass which will show us everything in the map for the treasure chest. In other words, every single treasure in the room. Uh, this bit's really dangerous. You want to keep chopping that thing because it's called a a like like I think, and it will suck out the rupees you have, which is kind of annoying. Actually, no, I don't think it's a like like. It's I don't know. <laughs> I've actually never really gone to much detail on the name of the enemies in Minish Cap. I know a lot of the enemies in Ocarina of Time, like. Stalfos and all that, because I am really basic with the Zelda knowledge and all, but still. Well, crap! Good thing that did not blow up in my face, it just hit me, because that would have taken a lot of damage. Okay, now let's just continue rolling across here, because this is the way we're supposed to go. Because why else would I be playing this game if I don't know where to go? Because otherwise, that would be a blind LP. I might do blind LPs later on in the future or so, but we'll just see how it goes. Anyway, what you want to do here is basically the same thing the way you take them out. And here's something that I'd like to do. Great, so it happens in this episode where it falls over. Okay now, let's hop in here and we're on the roller coaster ride. And let's see what Ezlo says. Sweet jumping jellyfish. That was awful! Hey kid, what are you smiling about? <laughs> I knew it was madness to risk our lives in that rickety human contraption. From now on, let's just stick to our feet. Well, I mean, your feet. <laughs> I like it gives like the sense of emotion on each character, like you could see due to Ezlo's comment that Link frickin' loved it, but Ezlo frickin' hated it. I just really like the dialogue in this game, it's like really cool. It's like, um, oh, it's like, uh, you know the dialogue in Link's Awakening? It's weird, but really, really cool actually. It definitely makes the game shine. But the main thing that makes this game shine for me is, like I was saying before, the shrinking ability. Because, well, I thought that was the idea, that's why they called it the Minish Cap. Because you shrink down to Minish size. But that's my own opinion, of course, because... There must be some other reasons why it was called Minish Cap, but that's all I can think of. So, yeah, and I have not said that in a while. Wow. Anyway, let's just shrink down and into this tunnel, because there's enemies, but they can't see us because we are so small. And there's something that I'd like to show. See this hole? When we go in there as small form, we fall down and we can't get out, and we just randomly respawn instantly, like, we don't even see the long death animation. It just suddenly respawns. Still, I won't criticise the animations and all that, because that doesn't put you off the game, definitely. Okay, anyway, let's crawl down through here, into this really foggy area. Hopefully the quality on this is good enough. 
on the computer because really I found that with camcording or sorry camera recording I'm not American that um it does uh bring out quite good quality but not as good as how it's actually being played on the games console whereas capture cards are pretty much like that because I mean you saw if you saw Chuggins Majora's Mask then you all know what I mean that looked like he was actually playing it on there even though he was playing it but I'm talking in terms of quality here with the recording and all but anyway with that we now want to quickly move across here because these things collapse and we find a kingstone piece oh great what do you want to say oh my it looks really really hot in that lava trust me falling into that would be a bad idea I'm sure you agree no I'm gonna freaking be a millionaire if I fall in there and that rhymed and oh god I don't like the idea of this bit because um if you didn't hear that sound though but you can hear like my speakers pop it puts me off it does a bit I don't know does that happen in the Game Boy Advance version I might have to look it up or you guys can tell me in the comments so yeah we'll just see how that goes because I've only played this on the 3DS, not on the Game Boy Advance original system or anything like that, but still. Here's one thing I'd advise, when you get these things you have to throw them in the holes, but if you just step into it the, with them, then it's easier to do so, that way you're not going to throw it in the... What? Okay, fine, I had to do that, that was the only way, but still, yeah. Because um, if you actually throw them, sometimes you can throw them too far, and they'll fall in like that luckily I didn't need that though because all it would do is just take me to that one which is pretty useless but anyway with all that let's now go this way believe it or not most of the stuff in this dungeon like the puzzles and all that took me a while to figure out actually especially this bit when it came to recording my LP, because like I said in one of the episodes, I actually practiced the recording because I am so sad. But still. Yeah, the puzzles on this, in this area, sorry, are quite challenging in some terms, but the hardest puzzle for me is definitely the last one in the last dungeon. And you'll know what I mean if you've played it. It's that one where you have to whack these things back at people in the exact order or so because um otherwise you will not get further through it and I don't really want to give too many spoilers that's why I was a bit silent for a second anyway let's now hop back in here now that we've got the key and access a new area my speaker just popped again I swear it's the 3DS because in some places it doesn't pop Maybe my 3DS is dying. I hope not. Evo, I am more excited about the Wii U. <laughs> oh god, I keep going on about the Wii U at the moment. I'm so addicted to it. It does look really exciting though. But I don't really want to go on too much about it. Because I should be going on about the game here, not the Wii U and commenting on 80s commercials like in the previous episode. So I'm just going to go on about the game. I will go on about other stuff though, so don't expect it to be all about the game. You see that though? I'll reveal why that's upside down later. I'll explain later. Sorry, it's just this thing that I remember saying once in life. <laughs> that's about specific as I can be. Anyway, let's now bomb this and... Along the way, I'm going to say that I'm going to end this episode here because it's coming up to the time limit and I'm going to speak really fast. So, in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda, The Minish Cap, we will be going further through the Cave of Flames. So, take care, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode. And now we have got the sick pot container, which is very handy. So, take care, guys, and see you later.